In today's video, we're going to take a look at an app that Micrographics has created called Nest 1D. Now, what Nest 1D Nest does is allows us to take our frames that we've created in Frame Generator and then generate a cut list of it. Um, in addition to this cut list, we're also able to generate how many pieces of stock material we need. So, this, for instance, say we, you know, we've got 6,000 uh, millimeters or 6 meters of, of certain stock and we've got 10 of them and you know, you're able to generate the cut list and it'll tell you if you've actually got enough or not. So the first thing I'm going to do is I've got my <coughs> my uh, assembly open over here with all my different uh, frames and I'm going to go into the Nest 1D app. So in that Nest 1D app, just as long as the assembly is open, I click on import from inventor, it reads my open assembly and then it will tell me how many items I've got over here. So it's got the items over here and it's got my different items. So you can see there my stock number 50 by 50 by 5. I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 of them at varying lengths. And then I've got a 40 by 40 by 4 and the length is 499.62. And you can see the number that I've got over here. So now this is what's been read from the, um, from the assembly. What you can also do is you can have a job multiplier. So, for instance, if I'm going to build, say, four of four of those uh, assemblies um, that we showed previously, then I just type in four over here, and it will go then update um, all the values that I've got over there. Then what we can do, so I'm just going to go say this is one again, okay. Um, then you've also got your cutter, your blade thickness, so that's actually what's going to be cutting the pipe, okay. And in the bottom left hand side of you, you've got your stock types detector. So we've actually picked up two types of stock, 50 by 50 by 5, which is these 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, the first 6 over here, your BSEN 10, 219 2, 50 by 50 by 5, with the different links. Now, I can go and just say, well, I want both stock items over there. So with this over here, I can say, look, maybe it's not 12,000. You know, maybe it's 6,000 and then this one is maybe, you know, 4,000. Okay, so you can go and <clears throat> modify it over here as well. If um, if you have a whole long list of available stocks, so maybe it's 5, 6, 7, you don't want to have to go and type in each one. Say it's, it's all 6,000 millimeters. So what we've got is in the options button over here, you can just say the default stock length is 6,000. <clears> okay. Once that's happened over there, when I say put my stock in, it's going to say 6,000 over there. Once this is done and you're happy with it, you can say, right, let's go and uh, calculate. So <clears throat> click on the calculate button and there we go. So now if I go to my results, you'll see over there that I've got, um, I'm able to nest everything. Okay, at the bottom right of here is, is anything I haven't nested. So one of the reasons it has done that is if I go back to my quantity, you'll see there's a minus one, which tells me that there's an infinite amount of, of nesting material or, you know, of stock that we've got in the storeroom. Now, if I had to go say, look, there's only one of these, okay, and I go calculate it again, when I go to my results, you'll notice here that I could not nest two of the 300 length and one of the 900 link 50 by 50 by 5 okay so so you'll see there that I was you know not able to nest that over there and then from results you've got an analysis tab as well and what this allows us to do is actually tell us how much we utilized and what the off cut variance is or what you know what you left with okay so with the uh, 40 by 40 by 4 you know you can see there's quite a lot left over Okay, so I've still got 4,994.76 millimeters of offcut. So you can take that value, and the next time you run the simulation, if you've got a 40 by 40 by 4 that you need to cut, uh, you put that in first, um, you know, as an additional, uh, you know, piece of stock, uh, and then you run the simulation again. We'll use that stock over there, but you've obviously got that sitting in your storeroom, um, and then you'd obviously go buy additional new stock at 6,000 over there. Okay, and then just, you know, as a combination, it tells you, you know, I've used 58% and of both materials combined, I've got 41.84% um, off cut. Okay, so a nice little tool just to, you know, kind of get what you want to cut, what type of stocks that you have got. You can add an additional stock over here. 
um, and then you can also say look well here's the results what was not nested okay if I go back here let's just go back to the input and let's say okay right you know we actually have got tons of stock left let's go run the simulation again calculate very very quick so I mean you can see that was done in a couple of milliseconds no more stock left okay um, we've used two 50 by 50 by 8 and one 40 by 40 by 4 and let's go to the results or the analysis and here is the stock so you can see there previously there was there was a lot left okay so there we go 37.37 percent um, off cut and 62 percent utilized um, and then you'll see there, there's the same as the previous one because you're only cutting one and then the combined uh, offset over there okay and once you've done that you can go and create a report okay give it a name say so test one job number one two three four description this is for the report and customer me okay and there we go so let's just go test one and it goes and creates this report for me over here okay so there you can see stock number and then your items the cut length so the length 6000 off cut 26 so that's how much it is over there and then your stock 50 by 50 by 5 with the link 600 your off cut is 4491 so you're able to get more out of that first one than the second one for bar 2 and you're able to cut those three over there and then your um, your 40 by 40 by 4 um, basically that's your the two that you've cut over here and the off cut that we've got from the 6000 okay so very very quick and easy way to get out a, a report um, as well as just to visually see um, exactly what's happening um, in our you know in in the calculation that we've done and that is nest 1d so if you want to try it you can go through to uh, the micrographics website i will leave in the in, in the little blog that i'm writing about it i will leave the um the url for that the, the website thanks very much for watching